Hello, welcome to this tutorial and today is a continuation of our octagon structure. In this structure we are going to add a mezzanine floor which will be supported by beams we are going to place around here. And we'll get started right away. I'm Morris Dimba and let me just come to navigate here and rotate this by holding my left button on the mouse and rotate that. Now remember to rotate, you come to view, you come to navigate here. You click on view, you come to navigate, you look for navigate somewhere here and pick the first option, rotate with mouse. Select and pick your rotation point. You can read down here, pick the position. My rotation position is here. I'll select that, then hold my left button on the mouse and hold and I'll be able to ro rotate that comfortably like that. Now, that's aside, let's get started by placing our uh, mezzanine floor supporting beams. Now I want to place a column right here, a column that will stretch up by three meters from uh, from zero zero level. Now I'll come here. I'll come here and pick on that member and select copy. I want to pick it with the. I want to pick it with the uh, with the base plate. L let me first of all disable the assembly. I select on it. Press Control. I press control and pick it with the with the plate select on that right click and come to copy I want to pick it right at the bottom end here and move it all the way to this position right here the the base plate has been left out and that should not be a worry we'll place that base plate comfortably I'll show you how to place now we've just copied that uh, uh, column and it's not in the in the right position so we want to re reorient this uh, beam to 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 face the, the right position now i'm going to double click on it right here double, double click on it here and change this angle to 22.5 and uh, click ok or change it to zero and see how it is it is positioning itself it's still not okay so what we are going to do is either prefix this dimension by a negative sign and see how it behaves let me change that change that to zero and uh, click on that still not the best way possible that I think will work and zero can work still not okay so the solution for this just to get rid of it and pick the nearest one so just to save on, on time I select on this right click and come to copy and I want to pick on this at the bottom end here and I'll place it right here or another way it's very simple just delete that and copy this member right click and come to special copy here and click linear then uh, type three meters high and click copy up so here you will just need to come to beam and uh, snap on that spot and snap here we've created a beam right there so still not in the best position is not in the right position so what we're going to do first of all double click on it and bring it in in the middle right there right there and change this angle to 2.22.5 i think it will work now that's okay and i'll come to navigate here and try and rotate that and you'll be able to see it is okay it is okay so let's check the profile of this column double click on it on that and you'll find it is four four six one seventy eight and try check this the same thing one seventy eight seventy five one seventy eight seventy five that's okay and what you're going to do you want to populate this column to the rest of of the positions now what do we do we are going to we are going to place a point here that will help us in populating this uh, this member here. So I'm going to minimize this and come to edit. I'll come to po uh, points here and I'll snap right at the bottom end here. Make sure you snap on the right position. I'll snap right at the bottom end here and stretch all the way to to this position right here. Make sure you snap on the accurate position. I'll snap right there and click apply and give an OK right there. To terminate that command I'll come to view come to navigate and I want to rotate this 
once you, you've placed your points, first of all, prior to making any step, we want to place a base plate here. And so I'll come to base plate here and just type base. Base. And I'll pick on that. Once I've picked on that, I'll select on this member and snap at the bottom end right there and wait for it to respond. There we are. We've placed a base plate. And now we'll minimize that because it's now an obstruction to what we are doing. So what do we do? We want to use these two points to populate this column around this structure. So I'll come back to applications and component here and look for polar array here. I'll just type polar array and double click on it. And uh, I'll have this as a default eight number of objects. Now I'll pick on this, press control and select on this base plate and select on the base plate here and press my mute button on the mouse and select on that point as my first point then go to the second point here where we located here so, uh, snap on that then target your third point which is this one and select on it right uh, right click and interrupt to terminate that command then uh, minimize that minimize that we'll come to navigate and try to rotate this and check whether all these columns are in the right positions actually it's perfect and all of them are in their perfect position we intended them to be on so this will be the column that will be holding the beams in support with other columns to support uh, our, uh, our mezzanine floor for this oct octagon structure which, uh, which I said is ideal for a church or uh, a building that uh, frequently hold a big congregation so the mezzanine floor here will be holding a number of people and the bottom end also will be people seated watching or being addressed or being prayed to or being doing whatever has brought them to this kind of huge building now i'm going to place another beam right here so i'm, I'm just turning around to, f to look for a position because i've not decided to hide any component because if you're new to this tech to tech structures it might confuse you because you may not knew, know that some components are, are, are hidden so i'm, I'm, I'm I've, 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 I've decided to just leave all the components all the seal members to be visible so that you see actually the actual picture of what we are doing now i'll turn this round like that and i want to target this this far end here i need this far end i'll come to steel i'll pick on the beam and i want to snap right at the bottom end right there and i'm going to target the far end of the next column that uh, we've just placed that will be supporting or holding our our mezzanine floor so i'll snap right here right there so our our column has been given a very weird angle now i'll, I'll double click on it and change that angle to zero because you don't need that 22.5 anymore so i'll double click on this on this and uh, bring it down slightly to behind right there and select on that right click and come to special copy and come to linear and feed uh, three meters here to offset this beam up by three meters high click OK and we can get rid of this if you come to navigate and rotate this you will be you'll be able to see that we have a beam right on top here but it, it is it is in a position that will not allow uh, a connection or, or uh, end, end plate connection so what what you're going to do just select on this and come to special move and you want to move it down slightly by 80 millimeter 80 millimeter so we, we'll have to prefix this dimension uh this 80 by negative sign so we'll click on that so that's okay and i'll come here and try to rotate that and check whether that is okay and it's okay with us now i'm going to place another beam and to place that beam we need some point guidance point guidance so i'm going to to steal and pick on the beam and i want to snap right right at the center here right at the center there and zoom out and target this far end and for me to see that point i have to rotate this member right click and uh, terminate that and make sure you, you snap on the on on accurate position right here so i'll go again and, and uh, select on that beam 
select on the beam and I want to see the far end and uh, I need to rotate it to access that point. I'll come to navigate and press once you've picked once you've pick, uh, you've clicked um, uh, view on the menu and you want to you want to access the rotation command you come to navigate and select uh, rotate with mouse select on it so the moment you select on it uh, Tecla structure will ask you or request you to pick the uh, pick your position so you'll pick this position as your rotation point so you hold your mil your, your left button in the mouse and you'll be able to rotate that comfortably now we want to create we want to create another beam here I'll, um, uh, you'll, you'll see what we're trying to do I'll come to navigate here and try and rotate this right click and terminate that rotation command and snap at the bottom end right there so with this we want to copy these beams up by uh, 3 meters minus 80 so I'll select on this select on that and right click and come to special copy and I'll give it a 3 meter high so with that 3 meter instead of doing the subtraction in addition, you just uh, give it an offset of three meter. Then you give it, you pull it, you take it down by eighty millimeter. Now I'll right click and come to special move here and click on that and take it down by three by eighty millimeter. That I think that is the easiest way than than doing uh, the de the delaying calculations. Or if you are smart enough, you can get the math the maths right. Now I want to place another beam from this end to that end. So we are doing. We are placing this beam prior to populating these beams around our octagon structure. Now I'll come to beam once again and uh, pick on the beam here and snap at the bottom end here. Snap at the bottom end here, and I want to take it all the way to this far end, but I'm not able to see the snapping point accurately. So what I'm going to do, I'll come to view here and pick on rotation. Pick the first option uh, as your rotation option and rotate that by holding your left button in the mouse and you'll be, able to, you'll be able to rotate that comfortably. Now I want to snap at the bottom end here. Select on that, right click and uh, select on it, right, right click again and come to special move here and click linear. Or select on copy here because that one will take us to a default height of three meters. So it will make it will make most work easier for us. Now I'll come to copy here and pick to and pick beam and uh, pick copy, click copy, delete this now. Then we come here and give an offset uh, an offset downward by 80. So that is okay. Now I'll come to navigate here and turn that round and come to the far end here and uh, pick on the steel and pick on the beam and I'll snap here there's a lot of back and forth here so you just need to pay attention and see what actually we're heading to where where actually we're heading to now I'll turn that around once again and target the far end here we'll snap right here we'll snap right there We'll still give it some time to read or, or read the information that, that we've just placed. There we are. Our beam is, is in place. Now I'm going to navigate and try to rotate this. I'll select on it, right click and come to special uh, copy and click linear and take it up by three meter high and select on it once again and pull it down by 50 uh, by 80 million 80 millimeter down now again we'll come here and select on that and rotate and zoom out and we want to place another beam here all these beams are to support will be supporting our our composite mezzanine floor i'll select on the beam here and select at the bottom end here and zoom out and target far end of this uh, column and come to navigate and rotate this once again and, and, and interrupt that rotation command and, and snap it right there i'll come to rotate once again and terminate that rotation and activate immediately I terminate that ro rotation command it activates the the next command which is beam creation so well, i'll snap on that spot and i want to rotate so i have to invoke a rotation command and select on that 
and come to navigator and rotate once again so what do we do here i'm going to select these two beams press control and select two beams and try and copy them up and pull them down by 80 millimeter so we'll get rid of these beams select on that press control and select on that press control uh, and come to move and pull pull them down by 80 millimeter so we, this is where we are so we want to populate this these frames around the main entry we will see what to do with the entry with the main entry so here we want to populate these beams uh, around this octagon structure so i'm going straight to uh, polar array tool and double click on the polar array tool so we'll still work with these number of objects eight of them so with some to show uh, to uh, to maintain some so, some sort of uniformity now i select on this beam and press control and select on this beam then i'll press my mid button the mouse and you can read you can read at the bottom end here pick the first option and my first option will be at this point right at the bottom end of that uh, of that uh, column now the problem with with this is is that when your point of your marking points if are blocked and you try to turn turn around this command will be deactivated so you have to make sure prior to invoking a polarity command you are your, your points your, your marking points must be vis visible and accessible so in this particular case we need a point here so we cannot reach it so whenever we try to rotate and access it that will terminate our command so we'll just walk straight and try and work with it so I'm, I'm going to snap right there i'm going to snap right there and move all the way and snap right here so that that's exactly what you see it's not working properly so let me come to navigate here and try to turn this round and this is actually what we have so let me first of all mark i'm seeing some collision here let me just try and delete that so let me come to uh, edit and come to points here and place a point here i'm placing a point right there and i'm also going to place a point right there and there's a point right here there's a point here i'm going to place here let me just try and delete that i'll come to points and uh, come to any point uh, at any position and i'm going to place a point right there so let me just check on the other end let me and p invoke that point and move all the way and check whether the far end our uh, points are in the best or in is uh, are in accurate uh, po positions so let me invoke this uh, point command i'll place a point right there i'm trying just to be accurate in this let me come to a view and uh, come to na navigate and rotate this are we accurate in point marking here we need to redo it and i'll come to points edit and come to points here i'll pick at any position and i'll snap on in the middle right there i'll do the same far end here i think this is a, is a, is a similar thing we've just done i'll come to navigate and uh, come around here and i want to place a point let me come to points and pick at any position and i want to snap right there so let's get rid of this bottom end point click ok now once you've marked your points of uh, population of these components it's very easy now to work with this now i'll come back and invoke this command and uh, select on this member and select on that member so remember uh, once you've located your points even if a member blocks it 
uh, it is transparent you can see it through any other st still member so you can snap on that so i'm going to snap at the bottom end here uh, after selecting this component and press my middle button in the mouse and i'll pick this bottom end as as my first point and move all the way to this point here we just placed here and i'll snap on that spot then move all the way out and snap here as my third point right here and zoom out and check whether we've populated all these members ar around yes we've done so and we'll go again and populate these members so we'll come back here and double click on this and select these members by pressing control and select on that select on this so we'll try and see whether we can populate this one go press control and select on that press control and select on that then press your middle button the mouse right there and snap at the bottom end here as your first as your first point and move all the way to this point here to this point here as as our uh, second point right there then we move to this point as our third point and see whether we can populate these things one when we one go so this how it looks now we've populated all these members around our octagon structure now this how it looks and our mezzanine floor is in place so what is remaining just uh, placing the end plate connections to these columns so a door will be somewhere here the, the main entry to, to this building will be, will be somewhere here remember all the finishes this will be all the finishes will, will be taken to like masonry the interior 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 uh, design will export this to sketchup and we'll work it on sketchup until you see the final end of this uh, structure now this is how it looks this is how it looks so if you get inside it or if you come here and turn it round like that you'll be able to see the far end looks like that so the mezzanine floor that's how it looks so if i change my view double click on the screen i change everything here to zero and we will be able to see this is a structure we are trying to walk around and uh, place uh, the steel components here so this is the annex so the mezzanine floor will be uh, hosting or carrying or, or providing a space for uh, for the congregation and the bottom end also will, pro will, pro uh, will be providing a space for the congregation so the people addressing the congregation will be sitting or be f will find a place right in the middle here so it's a big is a big structure capable of holding a very huge number of people so thanks a lot for watching this uh, video and uh, this channel if this is your first uh, video to bump into please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and uh, thanks a lot don't forget to subscribe and bye bye thank you